Growing up in Appalachia. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. Well, I've talked a lot about the trailer park and growing up and how we grew up poor and how my brother drove the car in reverse because that was the only direction. The $75 car my mama bought back when we were so poor that that was all that we could afford. It would only go in reverse. So I've told you so many of those stories and I love to share stories from my life. And so I thought, well, you know what? I would just talk a little bit more about growing up in Appalachia. Now we grew up in more of the Southern part of Appalachia and yet it was really, really Appalachia. We grew up in a very small area and that small area um, had a couple little honky-tonk bars and it had one little grocery store. It was just a tiny little mom and pop grocery store. It ha had a factory nearby that people, most of the people there went to work at. And um, it was kind of down by a, a river in a sense, um, but it was in a holler, what we called a holler. And a holler is sort of like, it's kind of up and around, uh, it's a wooded area that has some usually dirt winding roads. And at one point the trailer park, uh, well, the trailer park that we lived in was in a holler. And uh, at other times we lived in regular houses. And then at another time we lived in a small town. But overall it was all Appalachia. Whether it was up in a holler, whether it was in a small town, whether it's in a little bit bigger of a town. And, uh, you know, most of the people were, you know, barely made a, a, any kind of income. Even if you were a teacher or so, you didn't make a whole lot. And so growing up in Appalachia, um, people pretty much where we were, everybody knew everybody. And they were there for each other. It was like a family. Sometimes it was like a very dysfunctional family, but a family you loved anyhow. And people were there during the, the difficult times and they were there to celebrate. You knew who your neighbors were. You knew who you could call on. Um, you knew people's struggles. You knew what they were going through. Um, we all accepted each other as we were. And when you were in that, you know, where everyone was familiar with you, people just loved on each other. They cared about each other. Um, you know, each person meant something to the community. And so, you know, no one really got lost in the community because everybody knew each other or knew of each other. And, uh, and so it was really a wonderful, wonderful way to grow up. And, you know, we planted, a, most people had a garden of some kind. If they didn't have a farm, they had a garden and they shared their food and it was real food growing up. Most of us had rabbit ears and we had one or two channels at best on TV and we were very content with that. We spent a lot of time on the front porch and the back porch and we, um, we did things together. There were no video games, no cell phones, no social media, nothing like that. And we really bonded as people. Even though I left Appalachia pretty early on when I was a teenager and moved out to Hollywood, which was a total, I guess, contrast um, to each other, um, you know, I always carried that part with me. Or as they say, you can take the girl out of the trailer park, but you can't take the trailer park out of the girl. <laughs> and the same as the holler, or the same as Appalachia, or the same as small town. And so I really value my childhood. I value, um, you know, going to grandma's house every day. Not every day. We went about three times a week. And she lived in like a, a it was like a, kind of like a holler like a holler and um you know and when we say holler i guess they they got that name because you would yell from one end of the holler to the other end of the holler because people didn't all have telephones so you'd holler at people to get their attention you know say hey come on over you know dinner's ready we hollered that dinner was ready we used to say that got to go out there and holler let everybody know that the dinner is ready supper is on the table and we called it supper we didn't call it dinner and uh and yeah, people, you know, were wonderful. And it was just really, really neat to grow up in Appalachia setting. Even though everyone was poor and everyone knew that they were poor, we didn't really think of ourselves as poor because, well, we had what we needed and we always had a lot of love. And so I thought I'd just come on here and share that other little part of my life, that other little story, bits and pieces from my life, okay? Well, from my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.